In this video, I'm going to teach you how to use SteelSeries Sonar to separate your audio channels in OBS Studio and enhance your full control over your audio. Let's get started. If you go to the website that's in the description, you will go to the SteelSeries Sonar webpage. You can just free download this. Uh, you don't have to pay anything. You just install it. It's Windows only, so you cannot use this on Linux or Mac. So you can go ahead and click the free download and it will be downloading. Once it's downloaded, you go through the installation process and then you're good to go. Once it's installed, you should see this screen and it should say set Sonar device as your default audio device within your Windows sound settings. Just click the auto set default and it will change everything on your computer itself. So it will take the Sonar to be the output of your audio. But the most important feature is here, the streamer mode. If you put this on, you will get multiple channels. In the master, you have a cogwheel for your settings. You will have to put in your personal mix. So where you want your audio to come from originally, mine is my headset. I put the Arctis 7. The streamer mix is where you want to put everything out. It's your main audio output. I've put in the SteelSeries Sonar Stream. You can put whatever you want, but this is usually the one you're gonna take. And then your microphone input, you just select your microphone that you are using to input into the device. Basically, make sure that the microphone is turned off for headphones and for streaming. What this does is if you put it on, you will hear yourself inside your headset. So that's not good. Basically, you have two channels. Your first channel with the microphone or with the headset on, that's gonna be the channel what you hear. That's not what everybody else hears when you're streaming. If you put the streaming on, that means that everybody in the stream, or if you're streaming in OBS, will hear. If you put the personal on, that's what you hear. That's why it's very important that you can lower your volume of your gameplay. You can lower the volume of your music in this program. But the people watching or the recording or whatever, they don't get bothered by it. Basically, if I up the volume of the stream channel, I'm not gonna hear a difference. The people in OBS or the ones watching your stream, they will be bothered they will hear a difference in volume. How can you import this into OBS? Firstly, you will have to open OBS. I hate the horizontal layout, so I just put vertical layout, and then you have everything nice and smooth next to each other. It's more useful if you have more channels. Then if you go to settings, go to audio you have your two desktop audios and your microphone for your main desktop audio i just choose the stream one and for your audio two you can choose between game chat media or auxiliary i just chose media because that was the second one where the music is going to come from so that's why i chose that one for microphone or auxiliary audio i just cho choose uh, the microphone of Steel Series Sonar. To add the two extra ones, because I've added them already as sources, but normally you only have the media stream and the microphone output, the chat and the game audio, I have already added this as a source. So how can you do this? You just right click in your source, press add, and then the audio output capture device. Once you click that, you generate a new one. Just going to say OK. And then you select the device that you want to add to your audio mixer. I already had the media, microphone and stream one. So media, stream and microphone. I can still add chat, auxiliary and gaming. But they are already, well, they are already activated. The only thing that is not activated yet is the aux, but we don't need that. So I'm gonna delete this one.
if for instance i want to put on a song let's say i'll be playing something you can see this app just gonna lower the voice you can see that the app is underneath the google chrome on the media we can basically move this app wherever we want i just put it under media because all my stuff from media is going to be displayed in this one in this media so if i press play again you will see that media here is playing but if i go to the sonar you can see that the stream is disabled if i put stream you will see that it's also displayed in stream and i can lower higher and lower the volume of the stream but then it's going to be all on one channel and we don't want that we want this to be on one separate channels. So your personal and the stream is going to be your main output. So the Google Chrome extension that we had, it was going to be on your personal one and on a different channel in OBS. So auxiliary, if there's something in auxiliary that's going to be playing as an app and stream is on, it's going to be on the main stream. Otherwise, if you disable, if you disable stream it's going to be on its own mixer and you can set your volumes inside of obs so let's see what the settings for streaming so basically if you go to your settings on stream output streaming your audio track will be audio track number one that's going to be your main stream or every audio input that you have and for your twitch vod track what i have selected is only track two what this will do is everything that will be saved onto the VOD afterwards on Twitch is only going to be track number two. So this is really important that, for instance, you have your chat on, VO and on track two, you have your gameplay on track two, you don't have your media, you have your microphone, and that's it. Everything of the stream one as well, well you could put this on two as well, but depends if there's any music coming through on your stream leave it out and make sure that everything you want on your vod is on track two when you're done streaming and you have your vod you can just leave it be because you won't get copyright strikes or you won't get any copyright strikes because you are not putting music onto your vod's the same with recordings if you record yourself I have, um, at the moment I am recording four channels. So basically my microphone is going to be on there. My music could be on there and my main output for everything else is going to be on there. So in the editing software, I can easily take out the microphone only with my voice and mute everything else. That's not going to be possible if everything is on the same track. So for recording, I know my microphone is going to be on channel four. My gameplay is going to be on channel three. Chat is going to be on channel two. So that's how I know that everything's going to be separate. Let's say you're in your editing software. You can import your media and you will see that you have four audio channels with that one video. That's pretty wild that you can do this as well. If you want to record and you want to edit your footage afterwards, this is also a setting you can do with the Steel Series Sonar. So you can have more control over your audio that's being displayed. Especially if you have a lot like gameplay, chat, music, and your microphone that you want to all keep separate, you can do this in your editing software as well. And that's it. Now you have full control over your audio inside of OBS inside your computer if you found this video helpful give it a like give it a sub and i'll see you next time bye